Hey there, welcome back. Now today we're gonna to be having a look at how to install Frigate. Now this is something that's taken me a long time. I've been playing with Home Assistant for three years now and I've eventually got Frigate set up. Now I'm by no means an expert in Frigate and I'm really open to any comments that any of you has. But what I am going to do is I'm gonna go through this process quite slowly and I'm gonna to explain to you how I've figured it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. Now Frigate is really well documented and I would certainly recommend going through some of this documentation to help you understand it better. There's a number of ways to install Frigate. You can install it in a Docker container, on a standalone machine, but the method that I'm gonna be going through today is having it installed as an add-on within Home Assistant. Now, the first thing to understand is you do need some reasonably good hardware. I have got mine running on a mini PC and I'll leave a link in the description below showing you how to install Home Assistant on a mini PC. Now, in addition to that, I'm using a Google Coral, which is a graphics accelerator. I'll leave a link in the description to below to one of those as well. They basically take all the processing power away from the core processor within Home Assistant and do it separately. Now with me, this reduced my processor from around 70% down to about 10%. Now I've drawn up this simple diagram to explain to you what's going on here. We have the Home Assistant add-ons running within Home Assistant and under there we've got our Frigate server. The cameras are connected directly to the Frigate server. Then we've got our MQTT broker. That is communicating from the Frigate server through to the Home Assistant front end. And we've got a Home Assistant Frigate integration, which you download from Hex. And this is where you will pull information from the Frigate server into the front end of Home Assistant. So now we're gonna go along to our add-on store within Home Assistant. We're going to go add on store, a little blue button. Then we click the three dots up the top here. We click on repositories and we paste the link in there and we go add. Now we need to restart Home Assistant. Now we go back to our add-on store and over here now we have the Frigate add-ons. So click on this one. You'll see that there are a whole lot of different ones for Frigate betas and proxies and things. The one you want is this one, the first one that just says Frigate. And now you're going to go install. Now this can take quite a while to download, so go and have a coffee in the meantime. It's important to check that FFmpeg is enabled. So go along to Studio Code Server, access your configuration file, and if this FFmpeg is not typed in here, just add it in. Next up, we need to create a configuration file for Frigate. In order to do this, you need something like Studio Code Server to go in and edit the files within your Home Assistant. So you'll see there you've got your configuration.yaml, etc. Now, the file we're gonna create, we go along here and we create new file, and we're going to call this frigate.yml. Now, please note, this is yml, not .yaml, as in other all the other files within the section. So now we're gonna go along and we're going to paste our configuration file in here. Now I'll leave you a link in the description below to my file, which you can use if you want to. There are a number of things that you need to edit to get your configuration correct, or otherwise you can go and view the documentation and create your own file. So let's have a look at our configuration. First of all, we've got the MQTT section. Over here, you need to put the IP address of your Home Assistant server and the port followed by the username and password that you've selected. Next up is the detectors. This is my system is using the Edge TPU. It's that USB plug-in coral detector, but you might want to use the actual core within your home assistant, but this will use a lot of resources. Next up, we've got the cameras. So this is where I put in the RTSP stream. I'll show you just now where you need to find your RTSP stream. So currently I've got this doing detection and it's storing clips. Now you might want to decide to have two different streams. You might want to have a low bandwidth stream coming through for detection and a higher bandwidth stream, for example, for recording. 
I'm not recording within my actual Home Assistant system because I've got an NVR that is recording all the footage for my camera. Next up, we've got the detections. So this is actually going to have a look at the stream itself. So we need to put in the width and the height of the stream coming out of your camera. I'll show you how to do that. And the frames per second. Frigate can detect all sorts of objects. You'll see a list within the Frigate documentation, but I've just chosen to detect persons or cars. Finally, I'm going to get it to take a snapshot each time it detects something. So I've enabled that as true. I'm going to put a timestamp in there and I'm also going to only retain this for two days because I'm trying to minimize the amount of data that I'm storing within Home Assistant. Now, because my actual recordings are stored on my NVR, unfortunately, there's no direct link from Frigate and Home Assistant directly through to the uh, NVR. So I'm actually going to need to look at the timestamp and then go into my NVR and find that footage. Now, in order to find the ITSP stream information for your camera, I'm using Reolink, but most cameras should have a support page telling you the form of the RTSP stream. So what the, the real link one, the way it works is you go RTSP colon forward slash forward slash, the username to sign into the camera along with the password. And then you go at and then the IP address of the camera, and then the channel number underscore screen type. Now in order to test that your RTSP stream is working, Download VLC Media Player, click on the Media button, open Network Stream, type your stream into there and press play. And it should then bring your camera feed up on the screen like this. Next, you need to get the stream size from within your camera interface. So I'll go to my rear link and I'll go here to the stream section. Now you'll see this camera has two different streams. Now for the detection, I want to go for the lowest possible stream. So currently it's at a very high resolution because this is a wide camera view. So this for me is even too high, but if I select there, you'll see that I can't go any lower on this specific camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide each of these numbers by four. Um, it says you're not supposed to do this, but I didn't have any problems with that. The next thing is your frame rate. Now on my camera, the 10 FPS. So now that we've created the configuration file, restart Home Assistant, and then go back into the add-ons. Select your frigate add-on, select the start on boot watchdog, auto update and show in sidebar and press the start button. Now we can go to the logs and check to see that frigate is starting all right. Now that Frigate has started, we can click on the Frigate item here in the left of the sidebar. And provided we've got our camera stream coming through here, we know that it's working. We could also go along here to the settings. Uh, we can go to the motion tuner and you'll see here that it's already detecting cars moving in the area. Now we need to install the Hex Frigate integration. So go along to Hex, search for Frigate. Here we go. Mine's already downloaded. If you haven't downloaded already, do so. Next, go to Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration, Search for Frigate, Select it, and Submit. Now you can select which area you'd like to select it in. Mine is going to be outside. So we're going to finish that. So having a look at our integration, over here, you can see that it's detected a car. It's given it a 70% chance that it's a car. So that's the last detection it's made. It's also detected a person over there. And it can tell us currently that we have one car which has been counted. And we've got no people currently in the zone. If we want to see our snapshots, <clears throat> to see our snapshots, we go along to the media file. We go to frigate. We go to snapshots and over here we can see our snapshots. So we can just click on them and there we have a person was detected at this time and on this date and it's 74% sure it was a person. So if I want to watch more of the video now, I can just take this time and date stamp, go along to in my, my NVR 
and view it over there. So overall, I think this is a fantastic solution for detecting objects in your camera view. I'm using it along with my NVR, so I've got a two terabyte NVR, which is recording all my camera footage, and I'm using Frigate to do intelligent detections, which I can then push into Home Assistant automations, and I can use them going forward. So please let me know what you think of Frigate, what you've done with it, as I learn more and more about Frigate, I will create further videos and I know that there's a new version coming soon which does both face and number plate recognition so I look forward to playing with that too. Anyway that's all for now if you've enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.